All right, everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy Part 7. I am finally back. All right, and let's uh, continue on from where we left off. Professor Fig, I am a receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies, apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence uh, regarding the introduction of the not so recent stooging penalty in, Qu in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. <clears throat> Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As the topic of your most recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to Western kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns and, in, in as much as time allows, the Depri Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into. Schedule permitting. Yeah, schedule permitting. <coughs> we value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself. And you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and the guests in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the result of a well run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Fair Spain, Minister of Magic. Yeah, I mean, that's the uh, freaking. That's the freaking government for you. There's something here. I'm under the staff. The Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected, unexpected stash of westerning crackers went off from behind the cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an, an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect, I expect, or I expect that the culprit was peace, but please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, W.D. Hem is headmistress. Revenio. That's great, got caught. Uh, try again. Oh yeah, I guess start way back here. Okay, so at least I don't have to do all that again. That's a plus. Good, good. Don't have to do all that again.
Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddle cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference. Oh, I got a little bit farther that time. Let's see how far I can get this time, I guess. I'm definitely not getting in there anytime soon. Hey, I'm a new streamer stopping uh, because stopping by because I also stream. Um, yeah, uh, I would love to. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I would love to stop by and give you a follow, my man. I'll definitely try to do that after the uh, stream today. Revenio. Yep, yep. Thank you, sir. Bathroom. Oh, okay. hello, yeah, hello. let's do that.
Revenio. All right, so let's see, gear. Uh... I'm going to destroy you. All right. Now that I got uh, that one taken care of. Oh, shh. Sh the F. Alright, now let's 
See if we can get this situated. <sighs> well, at least I don't have to do the other one again. Revelio. Now let's see what's this way, shall we? Not much has to go in, man. Doing all right. this way. Yes, we can. Can I just like stupefy you? I cannot. So I guess I need to go back this way. I know when I see a winning bet, and Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hope. Oof. All right. 
Now that that poor crap's over with. Don't know what you're doing there, boyo, but you need to move. Level three lock, looks like. Alohomora. Hey, I probably go. What do you know? Uh, gear. Neckwear. O18. This is for you. Yeah, this guy must definitely be from Ireland. Mr. Moon, I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as an oat. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember... The moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. All right. Oh, well, uh, that's I knew over. you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Rebellion. 
Yeah, it would be nice to learn a more powerful version of Alohomora. Gotta find nine of them. Waking me up at all hours. When will these students let me sleep? Oh, hey, it's nearly headless Nick. I can't do anything with that. And Ooh, students ought to have a strict schedule. No more of this bull thing. Uh, now let's see what other quest should I do? World map. Uh, hmm. Oh crap, not what I meant to do. Here we go. Quest. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. Wait. Learn to pulso. Alright, so. To pulso. Sendo, Guardian, Leviosa, Vacious, to pulso. Then, map. There we go. Hogwarts map. Potions. So, if I need some potions, a map, hogs meat, Pippin's potions, travel, meat. Here I come. Alright, so Pippin's potions hopefully has what we need. We have everything a young student might need when it comes to potions. Have a good look around. So you don't have oh no, here we go. Okay. Uh oh wow, okay. Uh let's 
So what? I hope well, to see I you need, again. Farewell for uh, now. Edris, potions, Maxima. What can I do for you today? Uh, focus. A wise decision. Thank you. Maxima. Edris. Yeah, let's go ahead. So you yeah, good. Never hurts to keep my you. stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. And use a focus potion. Uh, so, map. Hogwarts map. Room of requirements. Map chamber. Did I not put my science stuff down? Straw sun hat. Uh, gear. Hit where? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Uh, inventory. Oh wait, I think I had this problem before. Rebellion. Uh, no. I need to... Ah, oh, crap. Nah, what well, I'm into? Crap. No, it was... Rebellion. Crap, what was it for the tool uh, thing? So, settings, uh, controller. Here, failure, spell menu. Okay, so he's a focus potion. Okay, and then how do I use?
Alright, off to Google to figure out how I'm supposed to do that. Come on. potions class okay so potions class When Professor Sharp is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulsar. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should. It's best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Revelio.
All right, so let's travel to South Hogsmeade. Welcome back. I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. We appreciate all of your help. What are we looking for today? A thousand? Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. All right, well, that was a waste of time. you enough for helping to save them. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lord God. He's a friend. I was surprised that you seemed friendly with the goblin. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. Took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him, about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Have you heard what Ranrock and Rookwood are working on together? Not much more than the fact that they seem to have some sort of uneasy alliance. Friendship between wizards and goblins is rare enough. But between those two, they each want something the other has. I can guarantee it. That said, I fear they're like a two-headed serpent. Both will need to be taken down to stop whatever scheme they've been plotting. You seemed unfazed by Rookwood and Harlow the other day. They don't scare you. They're bullies. Plain and simple. Never tolerated them in my own life, and certainly won't tolerate them going after my friends. Don't misunderstand me. They're dangerous wizards and shouldn't be trifled with. They should, however, be confronted and reminded, whenever possible, that the rest of us have each other's backs. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gok, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back.
Revelio. Hello. Good to see you outside the castle. You too, Amit. Oh, you see? Okay. button What do we have here? A demigod. Another level two lock. Cool. I'm kind of busy trying to plunder right now, thank you. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. <laughs> Let's look at what we have, shall we? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. All right. Hello, Amora. Oh, the game never should have taught me this. <laughs> Two lock. So before I go there, though, let's go there. Maybe I can sell a thing or two. 
Revelion. Level two lock, because of course. Hello there. In the market oh, for people. potions, are we? That's two, Mary. Oh, hey, chest. Ooh, another chest. Rebellion. I could have sworn I remember. That's why I remember seeing an actual big chest somewhere. I thought. Was I mistaken? Must have been. Must have been mistaken. Level three lock. Oh wow, two gold. Yay. What do we have here? A demigod. I'm all out of the new sock, so if your feet are smelly, you'll have to work it out for yourself. Yep, so you... So you... I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. Alright, now let's go to the hog's head in now. Get that started. Well, actually, while I'm thinking about it, uh, inventory. Let's, uh, or no, not inventory, gear. Uh, I think I've gotten some more wand handles, didn't I? Or I thought I did. No, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that for now. Welcome to the Ong's Head. Any empty seat is yours. Oh shit, the uh, Hogshead actually talks. Revenio. Mounted Hogshead. Dismounted Hogshead uh, rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the Hogshead. Hello, Lord Gok. Sorona said I might find you here. She did, did she? Did she send you with news? No, actually, I wanted to speak with you. It's about Ranrock. Now I remember. The three broomsticks. Day of the troll attack. You're the student he's after. I am. And I need to know what he and his loyalists are up to, so I can stay a step ahead. Let's say I did know. Why should I trust you? Sorona trusts me, and she thought our interests may be aligned. Hmm. Well, if Sorona trusts you, very well. I may know of something that could help us both. A way to get Ranrock to confide his plans to me. I'm listening. Years ago, a heinous witch stole a sacred goblin relic. Rumor has it that it now rests in her sarcophagus, in a tomb accessible only by wizard Kai. Ranrock and I had a, a falling out a while back. The relic could well repair the chasm between us. Very well. I'll retrieve the relic if you promise to share Ranrock's plans with me. We will have to trust each other. I, that you will not abscond with the relic, and you, that I'll share what I learn. Gather whatever supplies you may need and meet me near the witch's tomb. All right, so how far are we going? Uh, world map. Oh, okay, so not far. I'm ready. Good. There's no time to lose. Yeah, let's hope uh, there's no time to lose. What precisely is the relic I'm to retrieve? A valuable heirloom known as the Helmet of Ertgot. The witch considered herself a collector and purchased the helmet as a trinket. She cared not what pain she caused the goblins. Goblins believe that the rightful owner of any object is its maker, not its purchaser. Wizard kind see things differently. It's a wonder goblins and wizards have ever been able to work together. The differences between our kinds are myriad. They seem to be. It may surprise you to know that I do not believe those differences always to be insurmountable. It is the reason I find myself traveling with you to this tomb today. Oh, good. that's the team right there. Oh, 
Oh, no, I guess not. Oh, that must be it right up here. Ah, and there it is. The witch's tomb. Dreadful looking place, isn't it? Well, I mean, of course it's going to be. It's a tomb. It's not exactly going to look lively, is it? I wish you luck retrieving the helmet. As a wand carrier, you should have an advantage. Now, before you set off, do you have any questions? What about this helmet makes it so special? The helmet of Ertgott is an ancient and storied relic, forged during a time of unity among the goblin clans. It inspired greatness, that is, until it was no longer ours. Then it became something else. A symbol of what has been lost, of all that wizard kind has taken from us. Reclaiming it would mean a great deal to goblin kind and to Ranrock. He would be grateful to me should I return it. It seems Ranrock and Rookwood are conspiring. Why would that be? I had heard this. When the dark-hearted conspire, they seldom make their full intentions clear to one another. I can only speculate. But I imagine their alliance is uneasy and quite fragile. Let us hope that ours is less so. Don't suppose you have any idea what could be waiting for me inside the tomb? Considering a dark witch was involved, I suppose there's a chance you may encounter the dark protectors, known as Inferi. The foul creatures thrive on darkness and the cold. Vanquish them with light, force, and... Most effectively, fire. It all seems clear to me now that we're here. I do hope our alliance proves fruitful. Again, I wish you luck. I will remain here, eagerly awaiting your return. Please. Alright, so... Gear... Uh, change appearance. Dark arts pass, no. I should go with that, actually. Oh, let's go with that. Let's do that. Then
All right, there we go. Well, that's only half the reason I did that. Never mind. Uh, tch -tch. There we go, and then... Alright, now I think I should be ready. Or oh, ish. It's sealed. Lumos. I just went the wrong way. Lumos, Merlin's beard. Is that a treasure chest? Yes, it is. This can't be the witch's tomb. Likely I need to go further. to Pulso. I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Flags, my guy. Death flags. Oh, yeah, gee, thanks. Look at that. In furry, must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Visit the collections meaning to learn about enemy weaknesses. Uh.
Oh crap, okay. Oh yeah, that's definitely not uh, any uh, cliché or flag in uh, any way. Lumos. Mm. If I could power it somehow, it looks like it could be rotated. This has a moth imprinted on it. Same as the door. Lumos. Lumos. Yay, now that puzzle's over with. What's that hanging there? Looks precarious. Down I go. No other way. It's sealed shut from the other side. Ah, uh, now let's see. Oh. 
Oh, sweet. Oh. Oh. So yay for yucky water. I'm sure. I'm sure that's it. We sanitary. Looks like I took the right way back, so what's the other way? Rebellion. Greedy. Got freaking greedy. Lumos. There. Oh crap, no. Um, there we go. Oh. 
So I am thoroughly confused right now. Why can I not jump up there? Let's try it the other way then, I guess. Because I am kind of stumped by that puzzle. That's why I cannot jump up there. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Is that the same door I went through already? Yes, it is, because I done looted all that. Oh, I have it. So, what in the world am I supposed to do with that puzzle then? Because that's a real head scratcher. So... Rebellion. Where exactly am I supposed to take you? Ah, oh, gear slot's full...
Revelio. Lumos. So, okay, so what in the world am I missing? I'm missing something. Lumos. There's you. That's why I was missing. All right. How the world did you get back over there? resting place. Lord Gok said the helmet was in her sarcophagus. Revelio. A dead Ashwinder. Your compatriots must have made off with the helmet. Lord Gok won't like this. this to Lodgok. I know there's a mechanism to open this door. Uh, because of course, because nothing can be easy. Lodgok, the sarcophagus had been raided. I found no helmet, only a dead Ashwinder. Damn! They got here first! We need to get it before Rookwood uses it to further ingratiate himself to Ranrock. I saw one of their campsites not far from here, but I fear you must go in alone. My fighting days are behind me. An entire camp of Rookwood's thieves. I might need assistance. Unfortunately, we have no time. Get to that helmet before Rookwood does, or we will lose our chance at any leverage, no matter how small, with Ranrock. To think those wretched thieves have their hands on such a relic. Oh yes, it's definitely terrible.
allow me to put you in Hello, for more. There we go. There they are, the Ashwinders. All right, so. Uh, I shall put you and then you. Try that again then. I just barely survived that.
Rebellio. That's it. This is for Rookwood. Oh, what's the light go out of your eye? Accio. Sharing my victory. Yep, and I'm just fast travel back. Looks rather dark in there. Never stopped me before. I retrieved the helmet from the Ashwinders. Well, well done. done. This is it's sure to impress Ranrock. The helmet shines even more brightly than I imagined. The etchings, the contour of the profile, remarkable. It looks stunning, Oldcock. I see why you wanted it back. You did the thieves a service by recovering it. I know many a goblin who would have killed for it. Ah, oh, then I am glad to be rid of it myself. Thank you. This should earn Ranrock's trust. I will take it to him immediately. It may distract him from his search. His search? It, uh, it is merely an inkling. You have impressed me greatly, friend. I am glad that I trusted you. We shall speak soon. Best to keep our arrangement quiet for now. Many will not believe that our aims might possibly be aligned. Hello, Hello friend. friend. I wonder if I you wonder might you stop might by the three broomsticks, broomsticks when you can. can. I'd like I your help with something. Okay. As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like, I'd to, like take to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, that was a lot of mail at all at once.
glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat, and I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be, whatever your plans. I, of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something. I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favor for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. Hmm. I don't believe I've met Mrs. Sprottle. She's lovely. Her late husband, Aidan, was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately, I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wiganweld potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, uh, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wiganwell potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying traveling vendors with Wiganwell potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. I can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aiden was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Doc can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. All right, on that note, I think I'm going to call it a night with this. So I will... Thank everyone that's watched, and I will see y'all on the next episode of Hogwarts Legacy.